could the future of our planet lie in this large-scale pig rearing farm? Here, every day, 20,000 animals produce more than 140 cubic meters of waste, emitting a gas with dire environmental consequences, methane. Here, though, these feces are recycled, and instead of entering the atmosphere, the gas is captured in gigantic tanks. Each year, 7,000 tons of CO2 equivalent are compensated or economized thanks to this project. Because if not, if we didn't have this recycling system, where would all this pollution from the big excrement go? It would contaminate the whole environment, the water, the soil. The excrement generates an unpleasant gas for them and for those who work here. 70% of the energy needed to operate these installations comes from the 3,500 cubic meters of biogas produced daily. Motors convert this biogas into electric energy. It's also used in the ovens that dry the animal's food. It's a virtuous circle that respects the environment. Financially speaking, it's a deficit project. We do it more because of the social pressure we face, and also because we want to see this type of energy working, even if it's more expensive, rather than use the energy from the electric grid. But we insist on this because we believe we must develop the technology. I don't think of it as me helping the first world. I help the world. The financial arm of American company General Electric indirectly finances this project. The company calculated the CO2 emitted by its customers' vehicles and decided to compensate for the amount in Brazil. It's a voluntary measure, but one that responds to a moral obligation. There's a certain number of emissions that cannot be reduced, so these emissions need to be compensated somehow. These companies compensate by investing in this type of project. And it's very interesting for a company to pioneer at this moment and to tell its customers, hey, I have the initiative, I do it. There are more than 800 projects like this worldwide, mainly focused on destroying gases with high global warming potential. They represent no more than 1 billion tons of avoided carbon dioxide, a market that's clearly expanding, much as countries like Brazil.